Yo, what is going on guys? It is CryptoZerp, bringing you back another video, and in this video, I'm going to present you the future for Bitcoin, the Lightning Network. And in this presentation, I kind of want to bring a few points a little bit closer to those people who are new to cryptocurrencies, and for those who never really heard about the second layer solution, and why and for what do we even need a new solution. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, it's going to be for the newbies out there that don't really know much about crypto and about the Lightning Network. And hopefully you guys all learn some new knowledge in this video and hopefully you all enjoy. Let's get straight into it. Before we get into it, I forgot to mention that I'm doing a $50 Bitcoin giveaway. To get entered in this giveaway, just leave a like on this video, then click the subscribe button, then turn on my notifications right next to that. Scroll down, leave a comment with a comment about the video or question that you may have, and also leave your Bitcoin address so I know where to send the Bitcoin to. I'll choose a lucky winner after like two days after I post this video, so good luck to that. And I will also be posting the winner on my Twitter, so make sure you're following that so you know if you won or not. But other than that, guys, let's get straight into the video. So one of the main problems Bitcoin is facing right now, I'm sure a lot of you may have heard this, that Bitcoin is super slow. That not many transactions can be processed per second. And in this graphic, you can see exactly that on how bad the situation actually is. The transaction verification time on Bitcoin is one hour plus. And on Ethereum, which is a second generation cryptocurrency, it's only two minutes. And on Ripple, only four seconds. Traditional systems like an international payment, for example, is three to five days. So that's the main problem Bitcoin is facing right now is transaction times. And especially in this day and age where people are really impatient, they want the fastest transaction times possible. So that's where the Lightning Network comes in to make those transactions just a little bit faster. So another major problem that Bitcoin is facing right now is transaction times and throughput. So as you can see in this graph, Ripple is handling up to 1,500 transactions per second. Right next to that, Ethereum is handling 15. And right next to that, Bitcoin is only handling 3 to 6 transactions per second. So as you can see, compared to Ripple, that's close to nothing. And that's where, again, the Lightning Network comes to improve this. So I also found this graph, it's very interesting to me, because it shows Visa's transactions per second. Now right now Visa transactions per second are 50,000 transactions per second. And I've heard up to, it can get to a maximum of 56,000 transactions per second. But right next to that, Bitcoin only has 7 to 8 transactions per second. And to compare those numbers, Visa has 7,000 times more transactions per second compared to Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin, I know Bitcoin is not, you know, as huge as it's gonna be, or hopefully it's, it's gonna be, because if Bitcoin gets to the mainstream, it's gonna need to start doing better transaction times and be comparing with bigger companies like Visa. So here's the Wikipedia page for the Lightning Network. And right here it says the definition of the Lightning Network is a proposed solution to the Bitcoin scalability problem that was deployed in January 2018. The network would use an off-chain protocol and is currently under development. It would feature a peer-to-peer -peer system for making micropayments of digital currency through a scale-free network of bi-directional payment channels without delegating custody of funds or trust to third parties. So basically we don't want to make the blocks bigger, we don't want to make the tunnel wider, what we want to do is we want to reduce the throughput and do transactions off chain. Now how does a regular Bitcoin transaction work? Well if Jake wants to send funds to Matty, if it does it once there's going to be one transaction in the blockchain. If it does it a second time there will be a second transaction in the blockchain. Now if Maddie is sending something back to Jake, there will be a third one and so on. So here's how a Lightning Network transaction works. At the beginning when Jake and Maddie decide they want to open up a payment channel, what they're going to do is they broadcast that to the blockchain. And then they're going to do all their trades, so every time Jake sends funds to Maddie, she sends it back and so on. So everything is getting tracked, but not on the blockchain. And at the end, when they're going to close the payment channel again, then they're going to broadcast their balances back to the blockchain and everything is in order. And once again, everything that happens in here does not touch the blockchain 
at all. So if you think about the tunnel again, we're not going to widen the tunnel in here. We're actually going to reduce the throughput. And as you can see, this is why the Lightning Network is so efficient. So I'm sure the next question you guys are asking is when the Lightning Network will go live. Well, the answer to that question is it already is. This is the testnet right here with currently 1193 nodes and 4013 channels. Uh, when this video was recorded on the Bitcoin main net, 110 number of nodes and 255 number of channels. So there you go guys, that was a very basic and newbie tutorial for the Lightning Network. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed, I know it was a really basic tutorial, if you guys want me to make a more advanced tutorial of the Lightning Network, I'd be glad to do it. But I just wanted to tell you guys what Bitcoin has to become to keep up with its competitors and to really grow in this economy that we have today. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps. And if you have any questions about the Lightning Network, just leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can see all my future crypto videos. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.